Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with back with another FGO video and this is Fate uh, Grand Carnival New Year's Eve Special. Uh, so I've not seen this. Uh, I'm guessing uh, like I kind of heard about a certain like you know uh, episode coming out in was that in 2020 or 2021? I'm not so sure about it but I'm guessing this is that and uh it has only one episode i think and uh like from the character models and everything i i can probably say that this is somehow related to uh fate um carnival phantasm because character models really look like it and i've seen uh, you know carnival phantasm all the episodes like i know like you know like i've seen that anime but this is something completely new i'm guessing this will have the fate grand order characters just like how carnival phantasm had all the you know like the all the tycoon characters like um shiki and uh, uh all the other you, you know like uh, sukihime characters and all of them so and obviously like the fate characters as well so let's see what this is about uh i've like i'm really interested in this it's like a 14 minutes video i think so yeah I, I i'm quite late at reacting to this i know but you know like let's see what this is about also if you're new to this channel uh and you are interested in more of my fgo content i'll be linking down my playlist below if you click on that all the uh you know i've all the videos that i've made on fgo will be there and also i plan on uh, making a gameplay video on uh, lost bell 4 so when it comes out i'll also probably like you know make a playthrough of me playing Lost Bear 4. So, yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's get started with this video. Uh, this is Fate Grand Carnival New Year's Eve Special. And oh, also, another thing I want to, you know, like put this up in the beginning is uh, <coughs> it will be uh, to avoid copyright. Everything like the uh, audio will be muted as I usually do in my channel for the anime reactions. I will put a timer below and uh, like you know the video will be heavily edited and blurred out and no audio so I apologize for that because this is obviously like a 13 minute uh, like you know video and obviously this is sure to have some kind of copyrighted material so yeah I'm like taking no risk so yeah uh, just a sec sorry about that so yeah without further ado uh, let's get started with this video so yeah i'll be putting like you know a little box here that the subtitles will be given here and the timer will also be provided here you can sync uh, the video that you are playing to my timer and you can watch alongside me so yeah so let's get started with this video all right so let's start the countdown three two one go yeah this is like carnival phantasm there you go. <laughs> okay, we have these characters as well. All right. I need a caracal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Frank is. Oh my god! Brams! Miraculous Carnival! <laughs> Carmilla! It's Carmilla, isn't it? Or am I mistaken? Like, we have Mysterious Heroine and also like... Carnival um, Olympia of Heroic Spirit Flame of Mad Wow <laughs> There you go it's Finis Caldea Harsh Order Okay let's see It's nature Large scale Heroic Spirit Decommissioning Oh They're fighting the servants? Oh no. Is this going to be a battle royale or something? <laughs> oh 
Oh no! <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm guessing this will be something like that. A tournament arc or something. <laughs> no! There you go. Yeah, Battle Royale, come on. <laughs> oh, it's gonna... <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. Oh. Olympic... 2020. Yeah, this is 2020, isn't it? Something that... Wow, this is like all of the 100 personas are sun. Okay, Kuhulin, Asteria, Sivrail. I'll, I'll check this port out, portion out later on. Okay. <laughs> Nero's gym clothes. Yes! Well, wow, Spartus is also here. Oh, damn. Proto coup and caster coup. Manager. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go to the second archive. Oh, there you go. Coup alter is... Wait, he, he's a 5 star, yeah! <laughs> Last time I Shinda again! <laughs> Wait, you, you're a 3 star, aren't you? Wow, level 100 plus, great. Oh, Akiles is... Oh, damn. Yeah, this is Atlanta and Akiles we're talking about. Wow. Oh, damn! <laughs> These little, you know, like... Yes! <laughs> Wait, Arches? Well... Uh... <laughs> yeah... Wow! Oh my god, Atlantis is going to kill you! Uh, not Atlantis, sorry, Artemis! Oh no! <laughs> Artemis, where are you? Oh, foe is here, thank god! Oh, there you go, oh, there you go! <laughs> Eliminate it! <laughs> oh, fencing. Oh, damn. Gawain is here. <laughs> Arthur is eating. Damn. Wait. The sun is not shining here. Y yeah. <laughs> no sun! <laughs> wow. Swimming event, okay. Oh, Medv is here, Ishtar. 
Carmel is also here. Beware, yes. Artemis is also here. I'm guessing. There you go. <laughs> ah, there she is. <laughs> Wait, Nero did not say her umu this at least one time. Yeah, Ishtar is here. Like, why, like... Wow. <laughs> Nero and Ishtar fighting, wow. Oh! Wait! Oh! Fought for the survival angle. Damn! Damn! Look at them! <laughs> wow. I wish it was over. Okay, let's see what happened. Who are the winners? Oh, what is this place? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gawain is here. No, he's here. <laughs> That's Nero. Oh, Arthur is still eating. Okay, Tristan's here, Lancelot. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three Elizabeths. <laughs> Fellow idols. Oh, damn. Okay, this is like a cavalry battle. There you go, the final battle, cavalry battle. Whoa! Arjun and Karna. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Damn, nearly pissed. Oh, oh my god. Oh, she's gone. Wow. Oh, oh, she's using the command spells. <laughs> I crossed it. Oh my god. What the hell is this? <laughs> the whole place is going to be destroyed. <laughs> Wow, completely destroyed the whole mountain. Oh. Failed, yes. Now what? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Greater material. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the the ending. 
Oh, this is Carnival Phantasm's ending, isn't it? It's kind of different in a way, but the tune is very similar. Yeah, I think the, the wordings are different. I'm not so sure about it. <laughs> Gudao has carrots in her hand. I think uh, making Gudao the main character here was a very good decision they did. Obviously, like, Gudao is like the, you know, embodiment of chaos. So, <laughs> like, comparing it to her, uh, to, you know, her male counterpart, Gudako. Oh, not... Uh, Oh, sorry, I, I was, I was like, make, like, you know, her name is Gudako. Gudao is the male one. Oh, God. It's so similar, I kind of mixed it up. Sorry about that. I think I, I referred to her as Gudao the whole time, didn't I? Oh, God, that, that's a mess. <laughs> Anyways, um, like, as I was saying, like, her male counterpart, Gudao, like, he is the embodiment of chaos only when it comes to Astolfo. <laughs> Whereas Gudako is chaos in herself. Oh, it's coming soon. Oh, wait, 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 what is this? First season. Oh, we're going to have. Uh, 8.25 Okay, so we're going to have another episode like this, I'm guessing. I'm not so sure. Yeah, I think so. Um, anyways. Alright, so that was really, an <coughs> excuse me, enjoyable. Like, um, I kind of <coughs> thought this was going to, uh, like, you know, something like this is going to happen. Like, the, everything will be like, you know, carnival phantasm style. But the... You know, the um, characters will be from Fate Grand Order. And that's actually what happened. Now, okay, so obviously, like, let's see how many characters we saw in this, uh, like, you know, uh, <clears throat> in this episode. All right, so the first of all, we get to see just a sec. Um, here we go. Um, we can see Izo here, Kukulin, um, Jack, uh, Jan's Lily, Jan Alter Lily, and uh, Jan D Arc, Asterios, Urail, Bunyan, and um, uh, King Protea. All right. So these are like the uh, these are the characters who uh, fought in the first battle. Okay. Um, just a sec. Obviously, the other coups also kind of. You know, join later on the Ku Proto and Ku um, Caster and Ku Berserker as well. <laughs> you know what the fun <laughs> funniest thing is? Like Ku Hulin being Ku Hulin, even his Berserker form was not like you know left alone. Like he also shared the same fate as Ku Hulin does. Every like you know anime, he dies. That's basically it. Like, <laughs> like you know, in obviously in Carnival Phantasm also we had this this whole running gag like you know, oh, Lansa Gashinda, Kono Hito de Nashi. <laughs> you know, uh, it was Lansa Gashinda. But in this episode there was no Lancer Gashinda. Obviously Lancer Gashinda that happened. You know when Lancer, like you know, Kuhulin Lancer fell down. But the final Lancer, uh, uh, the final Kuhulin who is the Berserker form, like he also died. Why? Because it's Ku Hulin. So it's not Lansa Gashinda, but Ku Gashinda this time. <laughs> wow, that, like I like these little like, you know, jokes they um, have this like these running gags are so funny. Like, you know, there's this whole thing with <clears throat> like obviously the Lansa Gashinda and there are a lot more as well. I cannot remember them, but these kind of running gags. Oh, uh, <laughs> She knows, um, uh, like, you know, archers are made, uh, uh, that was, no, uh, that was Rin, wasn't it? Archer, no, was, or was that Shiro? Like, <laughs> the archers are made of archers and pe like, uh, Shiro said, like, people die when they are killed. That's Shiro's, <laughs> like, you know, um, like, uh, you know, die, like, quote. And I think Rin said something like archers are made of archers or something. 
and there's also the whole thing with berserkers go berserk and this like you know this city is made of something like a narrow set something like that I i'm not so sure about it so many variations of all oh uh you celebrate being born when it's your birthday <laughs> That was from Prisma Ilya. <laughs> oh my god, like these... <coughs> <coughs> like, how this started? This basically started because of a mistranslation, kind of a mistranslation in, like, you know, in the original Fate, uh, like, show, the first Fate anime. And the people memed it so much that <coughs> the, the developers and, like, you know, the people, <coughs> they also started memeing this. So good and also the same with uh, like you know the Lansa Gashinda that also like it was memed so much that they are like deliberately putting these things I love this thing about fate like you know they <clears throat> they <clears throat> Kind of see what people like you know are like like you know Getting excited for uh, like you know memeing and everything and they like you know uh, change stuff according to that and they also like you know get in, in into that fun and kind of meme about it themselves as well like so good I have to say. Also, okay, so let's talk about this episode. I'm talking uh, about something completely different. All right, so a few more characters we see. Uh, <clears throat> we see Fuma, <clears throat> Spactus, Leonidas, um, Robin Hood, Budika. They're also here. Like, uh, we, we barely saw them, but you know, little silhouettes of them. Not silhouettes, but uh, like the character sprites. And also Kuhulin Berserker, um, Red Hair was here. Um, <laughs> Gudako loves him so much that he she grailed him to like hundred, and uh, you know like that's why he was accepted from the elimination. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> and then in the um, okay, what well, let's see. Uh, then in the uh, race, just a sec. Um, I'm trying to find which characters. Are, okay, here we go. Um, we have. Altera, yeah, Martha, um, I forgot his name, uh, I'm sorry about it, uh, the assassin, I, I always forget his name, uh, I'm sorry about it, I cannot remember his name, but, like, he's here, uh, Bradamante, <coughs> Atlante, and Akites, obviously. And, like, we were, like, I, you know, I was thinking, like, wow, we're going to see such a, you know, amazing race, so, why? Atlantean Achilles is there, you know, and who will be the fastest? In comes King Protea and oh, also another thing. Oh, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Chiyome, Chiyome. She also, uh, like, like, appears later on as, like, a ninja she is. <laughs> and that shot of Bradamante, wow, like, obviously that is a part of her noble phantasm, you know, like, when she, like, unleashes a noble phantasm. They put that shot in this, uh, like, you know, anime as well. Wow, that was something. And then King, in comes King Protea and she wins in one step. I don't know where Bunyan was. I'm not so sure about it. Like, I'm, I'm guessing she was not participating in, in this, like, you know, race. So only King Protea is here. But if she was here, like, I would have loved to see their race. <laughs> you know, so both, both of them are so big. So... That was a really good thing, like, you know, like they did, like, uh, like making King Protea participate in this race, like, so funny, like, you know, all of these, like, extremely fast hero spirits we have. In comes King Protea and completely, like, you know, wins the match without even barely moving. <laughs> wow. Okay, and then, like, in the next scene, we see, like, you know, Orion and all of them, like, the archer, like, you know, okay, let's see which archers are here. All right, uh... Just a sec. Mm, okay, here it is. Uh, we can see Tomoe Gozen, Emiya, uh, Chiron, and Artemis. Now, <coughs> <laughs> and obviously Orion is there. And Orion, like he is, like you know, is perving on Marsh. <laughs> I was thinking, like you know, maybe like you know, Artemis is going to shoot him. Obviously, he shot him. But before that, foe came to the rescue. Like. <laughs> And then Artemis obviously like, you know, shoots him. <laughs> wow, okay. And... Just a sec. And they, and they were like, I was saying like... 
like yeah standards and practices because of that every like you know 18 plus stuff is banned here so <laughs> wow and then like um okay then the fencing match uh gawain loses immediately because there's no sun unfortunately so yeah that's sad <laughs> You know, he was so like happy like saying that oh like finally my turn time uh, you know turn to shine shine has come And then he loses all right, and then in the next uh, like scene, okay in the swimming uh, match we see Medip summer uh, Ishtar rider um, I think the, this is Meltrilis, isn't she like she's not introduced in NA still and <clears throat> I think she's going to come in the Las Vegas banner and she's a four star as far as I can remember. And uh, there's also Nobunaga and Okita. And uh, this Okita, I'm thinking, uh, like, I think like this Okita is like the, um, also is going to be introduced in uh, Las Vegas in NA, isn't it? Like she's the swimsuit Okita. So yeah, it's not the normal Okita, but anyway. And then we have Tamamo Lancer as well. Oh, and we have Carmilla uh, also. Uh, Carmilla uh, Rider, yeah. Uh, and she's also going to be introduced in Las Vegas. Now, out of all the servants, like one a particular servants I'm really looking forward to is Carmilla Ryder. Like I'm going to like try to roll for obviously uh, Musashi Berserker, and I'm going to try on a day which has both her, you know, and uh, Carmilla, like you know, as rate ups only these two, so that I can like you know uh, get both of them. Hopefully, I I pray for it. Like you know, I really want them, but. This is FGO, so <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit concerned. Anyways, so uh, all right, and then it's funny, like you know, when Nero says that, well, I am the incarnation of the goddess of beauty Venus in front of Ishtar, like, damn, <laughs> like I, I don't know, as far as I know, like Ishtar is Venus, isn't she? I might be wrong like if I'm wrong be, be sure to correct me down in the comments you know so like it's really funny to see how, like you know Nero says that oh like you know I am the incarnation of Venus and Ishtar comes in and like says that oh really you think that statement carries weight with me yeah I, I think that like, yeah like I was correct Ishtar is Venus isn't she like she says that uh, like that ca statement carries weight with me being here <laughs> Wow, and they're like having an internal fight. And Med was kind of like, you know, uh, commentating about that from the sidelines. And oh, and we also have Nito Chris, the uh, summer version of Nito Chris. And she already won, and Nero Caster got <laughs> eliminated. Wow. Okay, also, uh, okay, uh, some other uh, servants we got to see here, a little glimpse is Heracles, um, Beowulf and Penthalesia. They were, I'm guessing, like, were fighting in the, uh, like, you know, weightlifting competition. And then we have Mordred. Uh, yeah, Musashi is here. There you go. Musashi Berserker. And Hokusai. So, Mordred, uh, Ryder, uh, Musashi Berserker and Hokusai. Then I'm, I'm guessing they were, like, doing the surfing competition or the something like that and okay and then we see um li shuen the assassin who is this guy i cannot recognize him his face is not shown properly you know there's a big close-up like the person who is fighting with uh, li shuen and obviously we have okay these are really blurred i'm guessing ozamandis that is no oh no uh no i think is that Nitocris or? Okay. Anyways, and by the end of it, we see like, you know, we have in the final battle, the cavalry battle, Nero, <laughs> Nero comes out, Gawain is there, and the three uh, knight of the uh, knights of the Round Table, uh, they um, like uh, Gawain, Tristan, and Lancelot, and obviously like Arthur was also here, obviously. Like, like Arturia, like she, she's one of the main, like you know, servants in Fate. So yeah, she also had quite a bit of screen time in the end, where, as always, Arturia is hungry, but you know, Arturia thinks, like you know, decides to fight in the end. And 
the cat like you know the, the people who were like you know uh carrying nero this is all elizabeths that's funny you know because nero barely interacts with us like you know others she, like, obvi uh, like obviously tamamo won't be like you know won't be carried like she only has this kind of rivalry with tamamo and a little rivalry with uh elizabeth and i'm guessing tamamo if was tamamo was here she would have probably like <laughs> sabotaged nero in the cavalry battle just to like you know mess with her so she did not call tamamo but elizabeth who who like who who's going to help her but you no know, like three elizabeths the two mekaili and the normal elizabeth so yeah that's funny <clears throat> and there's like this little thing like she does not have any other friends <laughs> wow <clears throat> and there and then uh, when the cavalry battle starts let me just see if i can okay here we go there is a lot of servants here we can see amakusa shiro and uh, kuhulin lee shwen assassin john oh no uh, that's not kuhulin that's holmes dan uh, like uh, dante is also here uh, lee shwen skahat uh, jalter lily um Quetzal Coatl. damn there's so many uh shuten doji uh ibaraki doji and <laughs> hijikata <laughs> nightingale wow sheba um i think her name is shei shonagun wasn't it she still has not come out um sanzang uh Sherazade Wow So many characters Osaka Behime Who is this? Is this um Shikibu? Murasaki Shikibu? Can't recognize her anyways Okay um <laughs> I think every character was shown here wasn't it in this brief span of time Helena, Drake, Anne Boni um Jack the Ripper, Tesla. Okay, uh, Astolfo. Um, ah, Shizunai is also here. Wow, Shizunai with Shiro and uh, Nobu. Wow, so many characters. Himeji is also here, wasn't? Isn't she? No, what's her name? Um, the the the. The Queen of Japan, uh, like you know, like she's just gonna come in uh, Guda Guda, I think four or five. I think five, isn't it? What was her name? I forgot. The ruler I'm talking about. She's also here, isn't she? And uh, Chacha is here. Waver. Damn, Gilgamesh. I'm guessing Rhinus is also here. Yes. Saber Altar. And finally, Karna and Arjuna. Yeah, that was great. All right, and then in the final battle, we see them battling, and <laughs> Arthur was really roasting Nero. Damn, that was <laughs> okay. Just a sec. Just a sec. Mm, you overstep your bounds. Know your place, franchise. <laughs> your palette swap. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, and Nero says that how dare you after all this time? Yeah, like Nero is not a new character. <laughs> you are the one who spoke of passage of time, child emperor. Oh. <laughs> I'm a very adult grown up, I'll have you know. Wow. And Vinci went home and nero used the command spell and they completely blew the whole place up <clears throat> just a sec um yeah they blew the whole place up and finally we see gawain is happy because he found the sun that was good <laughs> wow and the ending is obviously Carnival Phantasm's, uh, you know, uh, song. Well, not song, but the tune is like that. But I'm guessing the, um, you know, the lyrics is different. So, 
Yeah, and uh, I think we're pro Oh, and it's like... <laughs> I, I saw this, I'm seeing this now. In the ending, it's raining Saint Parts and summon tickets. Like, what the hell is this? <laughs> They're mocking us! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that was great this is a fantastic you know uh, ova i'm guessing this was and i'm guessing we're going to have some more they kind of said that there's like another uh, like you know another one is going to be it's going to come out i'll have to check it out did it get released or is it still not released if it got released i'll also react to that you know and if it's it's still not released i'll wait for it and react to it after it comes out obviously so yeah and yeah that was fun you know one thing one little complaint i have why did nero did not say umu at, like at least even once in this episode like what the hell i wanted to hear that you know that's that's like like <laughs> Nero without Umu is... I don't know, like... It's... <laughs> okay, uh, I'm sad, you know. I, I, I hope Nero would at least say Umu at, you know, one time at least. But she did not. I, I did not hear it. Like, if I heard Umu, I would have remembered it. So, no Umu this episode. Damn, that's a shame. But, yeah, that was it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was such a great you know um episode and it's, 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 it's very short obviously but i would love if they make a like you know full 12, 12 hours series of this like i loved carnival phantasm so much and i would really love if like you know they did something like that again like the whole carnival phantasm it was so funny like like obviously at that time i was not such a big when i saw carnival phantasm i was not such a big fan of fate i was barely starting fate at that moment I think, like, you know, I would appreciate Carnival Phantasm immensely, a lot more if I watched it now again, you know, because I'm sure I missed 90% of the jokes when I saw Carnival Phantasm because I, I, I was barely into the franchise, you know, Type Moon franchise, I was just getting into it, you know, I just played Fate, I just played Tsukihime, and then I saw Carnival Phantasm. Like, I was barely getting into it. So, like, most of the things I did not... I Obviously, I knew, I recognized the Tsukihime characters because I just played Tsukihime before, like, watching Carnival Phantasm. But, like, all these little hidden jokes, I, I'm sure I missed everything. Because, you know, the whole Lanza Gashinda and, like, everything. Like, every little, like, you know, things. I, one thing I really, like, I, I remember the most in Carnival Phantasm is the section with... <laughs> Saber, like you know, Saber Lion, where Saber Lion was in the wild and they threw a Lancer for Saber Lion to eat. And Saber Lion ate Lancer and everyone cried like Lancer Gashinda. <laughs> that was so funny, I really remember. Like, I, that's, I think that's the only thing that is really ingrained in my mind. That was so funny. But you know, I would love if they make something like this again. Like this one little, like, you know, 13 minutes episode was so entertaining. And I'm sure like, like they said that they're going to make another episode. I really hope they like, you know, keep making these like small little things. These are so good, you know? So yeah. So yeah, guys, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. This was me reacting to Fate Grant Carnival New Year's Eve special. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Uh, I'm, I think I'm almost at 500 subscribers when I'm recording this at least. I'm not so sure what happens after this. But so yeah, like let me help, like help me get to that goal. And like I, I'll post, like I post, usually post weekly FGO content. And if there's like some, uh, you know, like extra thing that's come comes out, I usually make it one or two times a week as your content so it depends on the stuff they like you know release so <clears throat> like if you guys are interested in my other FGO contents the link to my playlist will be given down in the description box you can go click on it and you'll find all the FGO content that I reacted to or you know like did so, so yeah guys thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next week with another F uh, with another FGO video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.